All right, guys, so I wanted to show you this example of destructive interference. And I tried showing this in class, but it's so hard to see when it's moving fast. Even our slow-mos didn't end up very good. But watch this video here, all right? So I've got the slinky, I've got it connected to the chair. So what you'll see is that as we go forward in time, okay, so I make the first pulse there. The pulse is coming towards us on the left-hand side. All right, now this pulse, when it hits the chair, you can see I'm already starting to make the second pulse there. But this one, as it gets to the chair, it's going to flip around. Now it's on the other side and it's going away from us, right? So you have the first pulse, which is going away from us now on the right-hand side. And you've got the second pulse that I just made on the left-hand side. Now, as they move towards each other, you can see I'm getting closer and closer and see what happens right when they run into each other. Look at that right there. See how they almost completely cancel each other out? That's destructive interference. Now, the second thing I want you to see is that as we continue, look, the one that was on the right side going away from us is still on the right side going away from us. The one that the second one that I sent that was on the left side coming towards us, it's still coming towards us, right? And so this brilliantly shows destructive interference where we have waves on either side of the slinky and when they run into each other they just about cancel out but they continue moving right we can actually see it again as it reaches me this one near us is flipping over to the other side the one that reaches me flips over to the other side and so now they're going to run into each other again watch this ah oh, look at that almost perfect i mean even a slow -mo, slower slow-mo camera might give us a better view of it being right at zero there, right at the straight line of slinky. But you get the idea there. And then it continues going. And we get one more chance right here to see it as those two waves come in and meet each other. That one, by then, it's a little less straight. But you can still see how those two waves are almost completely canceling each other out as those pulses hit. All right. So I hope that was helpful to be able to see how they cancel each other out and yet they keep going. Now, of course, this is a real situation. There's some friction with the ground. There's some deformation, some sound. So we are going to lose energy as the wave moves along. But in an ideal situation, those pulses would not lose any energy at all as they move back and forth and bounce and they could just keep doing it. All right. Anyway, like I say, I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in class.